Hey, this is a screencast series called Vim on Alphabet. My name is Josh Branchaw, and this is episode eight in the series. In this episode, we'll be looking at the dollar sign symbol. The dollar sign symbol is useful for a couple different motions, which are movements that we can use to get around the file as well as combine with other commands. I use dollar sign quite often in normal mode to jump to the end of a line. I'll also combine it with commands like delete. So from here, if I hit D dollar sign, it will wipe out everything from the cursor to the end of the line. That's handy, but I'll undo that. It can also be used in visual mode to move the visual selection to the end of the line. One of my favorite tricks is doing this in block visual mode with an uneven list of elements. The dollar sign motion moves each line selection to the end of each respective line. Hitting Shift A, I can edit one of those lines in this case, adding the missing comma. Hitting escape will apply the change to the rest of the lines. It's pretty cool. Another motion that incorporates the dollar sign is G dollar sign. Whereas dollar sign on its own will jump to the end of an entire line, G dollar sign will jump to the end of a column. If we have a really long line that wraps onto multiple columns, we can hit G dollar sign to get to the end of the current column, as opposed to dollar sign which will go all the way to the end. Hitting zero jumps me to the beginning of the line. The dollar sign can be used as a standalone command to jump to the end of the file. That on its own isn't very useful. We can, however, use it as part of a range with another command like substitute to apply some substitution to an entire file. If you're just trying to get to the end of the file, you're probably better off just hitting Shift G. Lastly, the dollar sign is used to denote environment variables. There are some standard ones that Vim relies on, like $vim and $home. These can be used as part of other commands, or if I just want to see what it's set to, I can echo it. You can also access and set any environment variable on your system this way. See the help files for more details on that. That's it for this episode. There aren't many other uses for the dollar sign, but take a peek in the help files if you'd like. In the next episode, we'll look at the percent sign symbol.